Establish in faith. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 6. Therefore, as you receive Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him. Paul, writing to the church at Colossae, wanted the Christians to remain firm in the decision to follow Christ. Since Paul encountered different churches and their inability to stand firm in their faith, he encouraged them to walk with the Lord. Excitement to follow Jesus is appreciated, however, the ability to establish in him is what counts. Often people give in to the things of the world and are taken by deception. Paul's personal experience with the churches and their poor stability in the Lord made him warn the churches. This perspective of shallowness is evident in the present context too. Who gets sidetracked? Those who do not dwell on the word of God. They have no idea of what is being presented to them as scripture because they do not know them. Therefore, they willingly follow anything that is not biblical. People get excited when they love to hear what they want to hear. The modern day ministers know this and they only share a message of blessing and prosperity and nothing to warn them of their sinful living. Sin and repentance are never talked about because it might chase people away from their fold. As a result, many do not hold to the faith and their faith in the Lord is shattered. They give in to many New Age movements and find shortcuts to attain peace. In Christ Jesus, there are no shortcuts or loopholes. The path to life is narrow and difficult. It is the truth and nothing more. Therefore, when you have made a choice to follow Jesus, choose to become a disciple and not a believer who lives and loves the fringe benefits. Becoming a disciple lets you mature in Christ. Establish in faith. Amen.